In today's video, we are going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Melbourne, Florida. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all things Brevard County. In this video, I'm gonna start off with the cons and then we'll go to the pros. Also, I am going to skip the pretty basic cons that encompass all of Florida, which are the heat, hurricanes, and bugs. If you'd like to hear more about those cons, then check out my video I made about Brevard County that I will link below. Okay, let's get started. Number one, the traffic. Melbourne can get quite congested during peak hours, making it difficult to get around. The good news is that this is usually only during rush hour and many people that move here from places like LA or Miami always laugh that we even consider that to be real traffic. Number two, Melbourne doesn't have a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Clients ask me all the time, where's the closest Trader Joe's? Where is the closest Whole Foods? And I have to tell them it's about an hour away in Orlando. Luckily, we do have all sorts of local organic grocery stores that have lots of good stuff. There's also been lots of talks of them coming to our area. So by the time you're watching this, we may have one. So make sure you double check. Number three, the beaches do get red tide and seaweed. I do want to preface this with that it's not an everyday occurrence, but if you are someone who hates swimming in red tide in the ocean, then you know, you may have a ruined beach day every now and then. Number four, Melbourne is a mid-sized city. So if you're looking to live in a big city that you can walk everywhere, beautiful high rises everywhere and clubs open till dawn, then you'll probably be disappointed. It's not like that here. And lastly, number five, feeling unwelcomed. Okay, so this isn't super common to your face, but you will see locals who lived here their whole lives complaining about the population growth that happened over the past years. So if you join the local Facebook group and introduce yourself as new here, don't be surprised if someone says, Florida is full, please go back home. <laughs> okay, now that I've gone over the cons, let's jump into the good stuff, the pros. Number one, the beaches. Despite having the occasional red tide, living in Melbourne means that you are never too far from the beach. And coupled with amazing weather we have year round, you can enjoy year round beach trips. The beaches are also a great spot to go and watch rocket launches. Number two, job opportunities. There are so many job opportunities in Melbourne. Two industries in particular are the tech and aerospace industries. Starting salaries for these jobs are high. Coupled with a low cost of living, there is so much opportunity here. I will also preface this with prices have gone up throughout the United States. So yes, it has gotten more expensive to live here, but it is a lot cheaper than other places like the North in the Northeast or the West Coast. Number three, the food. Melbourne has such an awesome variety of restaurants and food trucks, making it such a fun place to live if you are a foodie like me. It would honestly take me so long to name some of the best restaurants and food trucks because I have so many favorites. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a restaurant guide for Melbourne. Number four, shopping. No matter where you live in Melbourne, you'll always be close to either the grocery store, big commercial stores like Target, or some local shops. If you love shopping local, then you'll love downtown Ugali. Also, the avenues at Viera are in Melbourne, which is an open air mall that's beautiful and it has a ton of big name brand stores. Obviously, like mentioned before, no Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, but Melbourne does have Chipotle. And last but not least, number five, you will always have something to do, whether it's go to the beach, go to the zoo, go shopping, or drive an hour to Orlando and enjoy all the attractions there. And all this can be done year round because the weather is warm all the time. <laughs> well, most of the time. December and January was a little cold this year, but when I mean cold, I mean 50 degrees. If honestly, if you hate winters, just make the move. I am so happy I did. All right, so now that you've heard both of the bad stuff and good stuff, I hope this helps you make an informed decision whether Melbourne is right for you. Also keep in mind, there is always going to be some bad wherever you go. If you are thinking about moving to Melbourne, make sure you comment below any questions you may have about the area. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rachel Langley, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.